He's mad! What sort of person boots this stuff up? Okay, if I don't get all of the remaining shields in the next 20 minutes or so, then I'm gonna go and do some other part of the game. Maybe the Forbidden Forest or something. I think I'll play as Ron whenever I get to the Forbidden Forest. He was brave going in there in his second year. In the book and movie, at least. Fucking guy didn't do shit in the video game, though. Back again, eh? And there are still several shields to collect. I still hear chanting or singing or whatever. I think you'll find this next creature interesting. Oh, right. I've already been this way. And thanks for reminding me, Moody. Oh, another fantastic camera angle as I try to get beans out of the stone vase or whatever it is. How many times have I complained about the in-game camera so far? I should have been keeping track of that. Oh, here we go again with this shit. Okay, I have to move the block so I can use it as a stepping stone. Go back, boys. Or we can try to move it through us. Yeah, I don't know why I thought that would work. God damn it, Ron. Get off of there. Thanks. Oh, what the fuck, Ron? You can't lift it up from there. Oh, wow. You're falling rather slowly. Is that because of the beams of energy from the Wingardium Leviosa charm? I think you just discovered something neat here. Maybe you could make a sport out of it like skateboarding where you grind on rails or something, race against other people perhaps as you're floating along. Actually, getting back to the next level of gameplay after the Hogwarts exterior, I'm not even sure I can go into the Forbidden Forest as anyone other than Harry. If it's simply Hagrid showing me the dragons, then presumably he's leading Harry there under the invisibility cloak. Unless, of course, the game says fuck it and he just casually shows all three of them for what the first challenge is without bothering to conceal the fact that he's cheating. On the other hand, there has to be more to it than merely following Hagrid, as that alone wouldn't really make for exciting gameplay, so we'll see how they handle that part of the game. Yeah, I can't jump into the water or seemingly do anything else, so I guess that's a dead end. I don't know if there's anything else down along the side, even though I could hear the flamethrower sound effects, but I might as well check and be sure. Ah, see? There was a thingy there. I forget what it is, but it's probably valuable somehow. So it's worth getting, just coming down here. I get I don't know. It feels like a waste of time. It's boring. It would be nice if when the flame stopped shooting for a few seconds, the other two ran past so they could extinguish the next flamethrower up ahead, but you know, that would speed things up a bit. Yeah, I know I can't expect that much, but still, it's an idea. I really have no idea about this one. I'm I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually. Hmm. Yeah, I guess Accio wouldn't work from this far away. That would be too easy. So, if you want to limit the power of Accio for the sake of not making the game too easy, that's fine. I'm just curious how Harry is going to summon his Fireball in the first task. Or if there's just going to be a one time exception to the game logic in that case. Whoa, what the fuck? I got it? Or, was that a mini shield? It, it, yeah, I'm pretty sure that was a mini shield. It's telling me to... Yeah. Okay, no issues with the gate, at least. Took you long enough to walk over here, but thanks anyways. should be able to climb that. So I guess now I have to do something that involves stacking blocks? Sure, let's go with that. 
Also, since when do these three or any other Hogwarts students attend classes in muggle clothing? I just noticed this. This is very weird now that I finally realized it. I'm curious though, can I climb up there, move the block back into position, and then just grab the shield that way? Damn it, Harry, get off! Oh, god, okay. We didn't break your spell concentration. Oh, so close. <sighs> Alright, let's try again. If I could just move a little bit off to the side. Okay, like that. Now Harry's standing in the way. Ay, ay, ay. I mean, it's not like you're being crushed all of a sudden. The block is just tapping you very slowly. Okay. This way, probably. Yeah, I know. I probably shouldn't have even bothered trying to cheat for the past minute when this was the way it was clearly supposed to be done. But, you know, sometimes you never know. For Christ's sake. It should be obvious which object I intended to cast at. Okay, let's see how long it takes to pull this drawbridge down. Oh, very good, Ron. But where's Harry? Eh, who needs the main character anyways? It's annoying that it takes so long for two people to pull it down, but at least it eventually works. Okay, I think Harry finally joined Ron off screen, and I nearly fell off. That would have been embarrassing. But now Harry's standing in the way, and he's supposed to routinely get top marks in defense against the Dark Arts, but he's just not putting any thought into anything right now. I'm surprised he didn't fall off just then. Okay, so we dropped it too far down. No worries, we'll just try Wingardium Leviosa again, despite... No, wait a minute. Where the hell did this come from? Competent? Are you shitting me? Where... That was... Why did that just show up all of a sudden? Alright, I've got to go back again to try to get that last one off the ledge, though. So, one more time, Hermione. For now, at least. Back again, eh? And there are still several shields to collect. Yeah, including the one in the middle of the pool of water that I can't figure out how to reach. Oh, what the fuck happened there? I barely had a chance to lift it off the ground, so I couldn't have possibly hit myself with it. Thank you, Harry. That was completely unnecessary. Oh, God. God, I have to walk this whole way back, get past those three flame-throwing faces, and basically just do everything again just to reach the next shield, because it's pretty much in the same place as the previous shield that I acquired. And that includes getting past obstacles like this. I'm not even sure I put it close enough to the wall. No, I didn't. Harry, hurry up! Yeah, it's still there. I don't know why I'm walking over there now. I'm pretty much gonna just spend the next two minutes walking back there, and then another couple of minutes doing everything I need to do in that corner of the map just to reach the shield again. Okay, next time, don't put two obtainable items right next to each other if grabbing one of them resets the level and all of the obstacles that you have to get through to reach that area again. I don't mind going to other places in the map, and I don't mind if they use the same obstacles laid out in different ways, but this is just boring, especially since you're going to go through this repetition immediately after you did it the first time, because why wait until later? I don't know what I hope to accomplish there. Alright, you two, let's try to make this as painless as possible for all of us. Oh, 
God, I think Ron got lost on his way over here again. God damn it, I have to go retrieve him again. You piece of shit. Didn't you make this exact same mistake earlier? I don't really know anything about game design, but it can't be that hard to make an AI that tries to follow you through the path of least resistance, going around walls of collision detection that the computer-controlled character can't pass through, rather than just trying to follow a straight line that would technically be the shortest distance between me and the computer without considering if there's an obstacle in the way. I mean, for fuck's sake, I know it can't be that hard, because the ghosts in Pac-Man could understand that basic idea, and that was a game from 1980. One, two, three, all right, good. At least you guys sort of join in quickly enough when it's Wingardium Leviosa. Okay, but anyways, we're nearly through now, and at least we got that block over there without any real trouble. They also seem to follow you up the stone block rather slowly, although that might be intentional if having multiple people on top inevitably pushes you off by accident. So that's thoughtful, at least. And once again, one of them, Harry this time, just stands there and watches instead of helping out. I'm pretty sure it would go faster if all three of us contributed. I'm in a bad mood now, I had to like, in between takes, cough up some shit. This time I'm out of the way so I shouldn't hit myself by accident, and, uh, well, it fell off. Although, when dropping it from that great of a height, I guess I can't be too surprised. Alright. One last spell and I can finally reach the shield. Although... No, wait. I guess I need to get the other block, too. I probably can't climb onto that bit of grass between the tree and the other block because I don't think it even let me stand in that area the last time I tried. Although, now I'm curious to try it again, though. Yeah, it's stupid, but uh, fuck it, it won't hurt anything just to try. Nope, didn't work. Oh well. Wait, what the fuck am I doing? I'm not thinking clearly. It's, uh, oh shit, okay. Damn aim. Alright, uh, actually put it over here instead. Uh, yeah, even though I... I said I'd stack the block next to and underneath the other one over there. This should also work just as well. I'd still end up on top of that other block anyways. Okay, come on. Yeah, good. Alright, finally finished. And there's like another nine minutes of gameplay footage, but basically I'm running around and not accomplishing anything, so here's just a few snippets instead. Here's an attempt I made where I was going to try and see if I could use one of these massive blocks to somehow access the shield in the middle of the pool. Unfortunately, the block wouldn't pass through the open gate. I mean, that's just... Wow. Ain't that some shit? It's just... ridiculous. Can't help me at all. Might as well give it the same fate as the companion cube, because clearly I'm done with it. Where the hell does Ron think he's going? I can't even see him now. Are you kidding me? He wants to save the companion cube? God, yeah, what the Okay, whatever. And I still can't aim worth a shit sometimes. But as you can see, repeatedly jinxing the fountain doesn't do anything to help. We're very high up. We've been over this already, boys. Ooh. You see that? It exploded. Oh, even you're gonna start making obvious comments now, Hermione? Poor Ron. I'll make it up to him in the next episode, though. He'll look better that way if I'm controlling him. I forgot I had a pause menu. What's level info? Aha! Well, at least I know I have all the mini shields now.
Now there was a brief period where I played again before recording episode 6 where I still tried to get the shield in the middle. That's why I'm hairy right now, I didn't think anything about the character selection screen. And apparently I had forgotten that I had already tried to jinx the fountain. What the fuck is even going on here? Why is this happening? And here's a part where I could sort of step off the platform, but I couldn't get any further. I eventually caved in and looked it up online, and apparently you can't reach the shield in the center of the pool until you acquire something from Herbology. I forget what it is exactly. Also, I was an idiot and selected the quit option from the pause menu instead of the end level option, so I lost all my beans and whatever else I'd collected during that time. Oops. <laughs> 